In politics uh, matters. A group of concerned political stakeholders in Gomez State have dissociated themselves from a purported endorsement of Senator Danjuma Goje to contest the Gomez Central Senatorial seat in 2023. The group insists the endorsement is not a reflection of the wish of the people in Gombe State. More so, Senator Goje had publicly sworn never to contest an election after the expiration of his tenure in 2023. In a statement signed by Abdullah Abubakar and Adamu Pata, the group urged Senator Goje to be grateful to the people of Akko local government area, uh, the entire state at large, for the opportunity given him to represent them in various capacities for nearly 22 years and advised him to follow the footsteps of Sule Lamido of Jigar State, Atahiru Bafarawa of Sakwatao State, Bukar Aba Ibrahim of Yobe State and Sani Yerima of Zamfara State, who have chosen the path of honor and allowed others to emerge. They also say Senator Goje is aware that the Gombe Central Senatorial Zone is not in shortage of people with equal or even more startling, startling qualities to represent the zone and the demand that in the spirit of justice, equity and fairness, the contest for the Senate position in 2023 should be ceded to Yamato Deba local government area. Here in Lagos, the All Progressives Congress chairmanship candidate for Oshudi local government area in the coming council elections has promised the people of the area good governance and infrastructure development if elected. Kaide Oloide Almaruf made this promise after receiving the flag of the party with a steam and publicly declared as the All Progressives Congress candidate ahead of the poll scheduled for the 24th of July. Residents of Oshodi were urged to get their permanent voter cards ready to cast the ballot for the APC chairmanship candidate as the party flagged off campaign in the area. Of emergency on roads, then we're going to be focusing on health. Um, we're going to be focusing on um, education to build new schools, refurbish the old one, then state of the heart equipment. We are going to be partnering with the Lagos State Government. On a daily basis, over 5 million people will transit or transfer business in Oshodi. We harbor the international airport. So our candidate is going to level up with the development and make sure it takes the government of Ocho de Solo to the next level. Oloye Day is very well known to us. You cannot govern a people you don't know. He knows us. And we know he's a man of peace. And more importantly, he's very experienced for the job. And it shows that we are all still going to all the aggrieved parties. We've all come together to accept his candidature and come 24th of July this, this year, you will see the difference.